Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to create a very simple compass. Um, as you can see in the top right corner, this is what I'm, I am I've done. So if you face north, the you see the letter N. As you progress towards the east, you should see the letter starting to change. And so you have this kind of uh, digital, so to speak, uh, compass but you also have uh, like a, a true rotating compass on, on top of that and it always points you to the direction that you're showing that you're facing basically that the camera is facing so I'm going to show you how to do that it's going to be a really simple uh, tutorial but first I want to do something that I forgot on the last episode which is if we remember uh, when plugging the cables from for instance the yeah, the light poles to, I don't know, a generator, which for some reason is not working. Yes, the other way around. Um, as you can see, the cables are on the ground. Uh, it's kind of weird because if you want to connect a, a pole to another one, you would expect the connection to be on top and not on the ground. So I'm going to change this. It's really simple. I'm just going to go to the light pole and I am going to move the place where the let's see I want to say the plug component but I'm kind of in doubt so I'll just take a look at my reference project real quick and let's see yeah let's move the plug component up to 476 and let's move it a bit to the front so maybe something like 39 will work and let's compile and save and now if we run we should be able to connect cables from the top which kind of looks better even though that one got stuck <laughs> between the other two but now if I connect there it should connect to the top and it kind of looks better when you connect uh, poles between themselves unless they get stuck stuck like this one got let's see if I can unstuck it I don't think I can. Okay, you see what I mean. Um, so let's try again. Yeah, now it kind of worked. There's something with the physics of the cables. Uh, you can adjust the properties as well if you want. So, um, okay, so l let me just move this out of the way. And. Well, actually, you know, let's let's start by creating a new uh, folder, as usual. Tutorial 11. Uh, let's call it Compass. Oh, just nested it in the wrong place. So, okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a user interface, uh, a widget blueprint. So I'm going to call it WBP Compass. I'm going to do this the the two uh, compasses on the same uh, widget blueprint but you could do it separate if you wanted if you wanted or you could do just one of them uh, instead of doing both whatever you prefer so this thing is going to be really simple uh, in terms of the designer let's start with the you know let's start with the simple the simplest one uh, well one of them is hard, uh, trickier in terms of blueprints the other one is is just uh, rotating an image but we, we need to get the image so I'll I'll do the the digital one first so I'm gonna add a uh, text here I'm just gonna drop it into the canvas I will do some tweaks on it I will anchor it to the top right and make it minus 138 and about 162 because I want to have the the image on top of that so I'm already making up some space for it and let's do 128 by 50 uh, let's see don't size to content let's put the text already as north and I'm going to change the text size to maybe 39 and align it to the middle cool so now one thing I want to do is I want to bind the text to a new binding I'm gonna instantly rename this to get. Uh, let's see what I call this. Uh, 
get direction text and this will basically give me the what I need to show on that text on every tick or probably not on every tick I don't know how Unreal does the updating of the, of the UI if it's also uh, on the same ticking interval but uh, we'll see it works <laughs> so okay one thing I want to do first I want to create a function called get direction degrees and in this function well to start this function is going to return a degrees parameter I want it to return a value between 0 and 359.99999 which is going to be the basically 0 and 360 is basically north and as you progress uh, further to the uh, going up so uh, 45 is going to be northeast uh, 90 is going to be east so on and so forth you keep incrementing in 45 degrees and you get the all the directions that we have so okay I want the direction that we're facing to be stored on the player state um, I'm not sure it's the best place, but I think it kind of makes sense. I don't want to have it on the third-person controller. I prefer to have it on the on the state. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the player controller, um, get the state, and cast it to our state, which is our costume player state class. And now I want the state to have the, the the direction in degrees, but I don't have it yet. So I'm going to open our state, which should be under power cables, tutorial 9. And in this guy, I'm going to create a variable called current direction degrees. It's going to be a float and it's going to be it's going to be storing that value between 0 and 360 um, so I think I can do that on the event graph because we don't have anything on the event graph or I could just create a function oh, you know what let's create a function it makes it a bit prettier so let's do update uh, camera I'll update direction degrees I'm terrible at naming stuff by the way so this thing is actually go just going to set our current direction degrees to the correct uh, value on every frame tick so what I need to do is I get the player pawn and from the player pawn I want to get component by class and I want to find the camera component because I want to know the direction relative to the camera not to the player I'm going to get the world rotation and I'm going to split this struct pin here and now the yaw is what I'm interested in but the yaw is going to return um, values between minus 180 and 180 so I need to do some tweaking here to make sure I get the correct values that I expect on the other side because it's going to make my life much much easier so I'm first going to check if the yaw is less than zero meaning it's a negative value and if it is Well, if it isn't, if it's a positive value, I already know it's between 0 and 180. So that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to set the current direction degrees to whatever your value we have. And that part is done. Otherwise, I am going to take the same your value and I'm going to add 360. So if I always add 360 to the negative values, I end up with the correct parameters like for instance if I have say uh, let's try a simple one if I have minus uh, 100 for instance and I add 360 so I get 260 which should be uh, more or less west so that's fine I always get values from 0 to 360 that's exactly what I want 
So I'm going to set this value and it's basically done. Cool. So now I have this function. I just need to go to the event graph and call this function on every tick. And on every tick, we have an updated direction that our client, that our player's camera is facing, which means that now here I can get the current direction degrees. And that's exactly what I pass to the return node of this function. Um, okay, cool. So now I just need, so I get direction te text and first thing I'm going to call get direction degrees. And then now here I get a value from zero to 360. I just need to get a letter uh, for this particular value. So I'm going to do a get direction letters from degrees. And I'm going to take in a degrees parameter and I'm going to output a uh, text, which is actually going to be of type text because I need it for the other function. And this means I can go to the get direction te text and <clears throat> call this function afterwards where I pass in the degrees and I get a perfect text to spill out into the interface. So now I just need to implement this function. <clears throat> this function is going to be a bit crappy because it's going to be a lot of copy pasting. I'm going to do the first part and then I'm just going to copy from uh, my reference project here. But basically uh, what I want to do is I will start from, i just kill this one here. I will start from, uh, not from the pure north. I want to start from uh, northeast. So I'm going to check if the degrees value <clears throat> is nearly equal. This is the cheating way I found to do this. There's probably a better way to do this. Um, and uh, if you know, uh, let me know in the comments if, if there's maybe with select float is, is there's a, a better way to do this. But in any case, this one works and I'll, I'll stick to it for now. But again, if you know a better way, just let me know. So the philosophy of this is if the degrees are 45 uh, more or less 22.5. So if they are... <clears throat> Uh, let's say close to the 45 degrees angle that means we are in northeast and that's what I send back to the function so now it's all just going to be a matter of keep increasing in 45 degrees increments always with the error tolerance of 22.5 and we get all the remaining values so I'm just going to copy paste from my other project <clears throat> don't be scared um, if you see a lot of nodes appearing and I will try to copy paste everything uh, let's see this 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 and this and you will be <coughs> scared so yeah let's try to make it clean as clean as possible even this spaghetti so as you can see, the idea is always uh, going. So we try 45. If it's 45, it's northeast. If it's 90, it's going to be. Oh, it didn't copy the values. Okay. If it's 90, it's pure east. If it's 135, it's going to be southeast. If it's 180, that's pure south. <clears throat> If it's 225, it's going to be southwest. And then 270 is pure west. And 315 is going to be northwest. And you might be wondering, what about north? North is what remains if nothing else is found, which kind of simplifies the whole thing. So this function returns a letter. If I run this, nothing's going to happen because I didn't add it yet. So we need to go to our third person character. And on begin play, we already have a widget being added to the screen. The 
mode if we are in mechanical mode or not i'm going to cut this and i'm going to create a function called setup ui where i'm going to do i'm going to do this whole thing i'm going to add the mechanical uh, <clears throat> the mechanical sorry the mode widget to it uh, i'm actually going to comment this with mode and i'm going to copy paste this whole oh sorry i'm going to copy paste this whole thing here and connect this one to this one this is going to be the compass ui and it's going to be wbp compass that we want to add to the screen and the owning player is the same player controller so and then i just call setup ui and this function uh, takes care of setting up the entire UI for the character. So if I run, I see north. As I turn, I see northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, and north. And it's all working perfectly fine. Cool. So how about the image? The image is also pretty cool. It's also a cool way to show uh, the compass information so we're just going to go to the designer i am going to import a picture uh, that i found uh, online i just searched in google for compass i found an image labeled for user mod modification because i kind of change it a little bit this one is uh yeah 1024 by 1024 i made it uh, 512 and then you know just to save space <laughs> and made it into a png instead of a, a vector graphics uh, format uh, but then in any case, I'm just going to import it into the project and I want to import it to the tutorial 11 compass. So yeah, if you bear with me, I will copy it here. I will double click and I will change just from world to UI and save three imports. Just for, and I don't think I need to change anything. You could change the compression quality and a bunch of other stuff, but I don't really care about that. You can make it look pretty yourself. Um, so now I'm just going to add an image to our existing uh, widget blueprint. Uh, let me see what kind of parameters I set on this image. Well, first thing, I'm going to rename it to Compass Image. And then I'm going to also anchor it to the top right uh, with a value of minus 138, uh, 10. I'm going to make it 128 by 128. You can make it as large as you want. And let's see, brush. And we select the image. I hate this bug. I need to keep pressed okay and we select our image and it's cool so there we have if we play we should have our image it's just static so now we need to rotate it based on the on the degrees which is actually super fa super fast now that we have the the degrees from 0 to 360 which is the perfect uh, uh, yaw or uh, rotation interval so what I want to do is I want to go back to the graph and on the event graph I am going to on every tick I'm going to get the direction degrees and then I want to take compass image and set render angle and this will twist the image or rotate the image to the angle that I want but there's a problem it's going to rotate it in the wrong direction so I just want to negate this value before applying it and then I can pass it into the rotation that I desire so now if I run I should have the direction that I'm facing on the compass and there you go doesn't look very cool because the image is kind of crappy and uh, you know uh, could be much better you could also have like a static image uh, with the with the, all the directions like standing like this like a north 
the normal north, south, west, east, and then have like uh, uh, an image drawn on top of it, just pointing to act to the actual direction that you're facing. That's another option. Could also look good. Good. So yeah, there you have it. Simple tutorial, uh, but very helpful for uh, games like survival and whatever else you need to know the direction. So if you like the video, please uh, subscribe. And uh, if you have any suggestions of stuff that I can um, talk about, let me know. And uh, talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed.